Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both, aka J Bone, and we're back to play hole number nine, par five, the new City Park course. Uh, the revamped Christmas course special. And uh, we already played it once to the right, and as promised, we're going to give you an example of playing it to the left. Um, playing it to the left would be something you would do if you do not feel comfortable with the right shot. Um, you know, adding that extra curl and spin and stuff. Um, if you just wanted to go straight to the left, uh, and pr play for the possible eagle, easy birdie, um, definitely a, a choice you can make. And I'm going to show you how to play it. Um, this would also be a way to play if you had clubs that just didn't feel were set up to curl it to the right. And if you do not have any balls, um, that would help you know, with the spin that you do need for that other uh, path. So what I'm going to do here is, you know, you see me just hit the ball up as far as I can to the left without um, going into the rough. And that's basically what you want to do. You just hit a straight little fade shot. Um, make sure you line up for your wind. Uh, you do not want to hit that rough on the left or go into the rough on the right. Um, it's actually a, a much bigger space to hit than you think. Um, as long as you do line it up correctly, your ball will not usually roll through because it is an uphill uh, slope. Um, so your chances of your ball rolling off the fairway as long as you do have it fairly lined up are pretty uh, pretty low. So from from here, your second shot, you do have the choice to try to jump that shot right there. You see as, as I pull my guide up, you can't jump your shot over that bunker. Okay, um, With the wind right there, that might have been actually a fairly easy shot to take. Um, but for the most part, you're going to be going to the left around the edge of this... Um, this rough. So you see me line my shot up. Uh, 2.5 is one bar, so 7.5 is three. Uh, so we did aim at just about three bars for the wind, uh, and we hit it perfect. No side spin or any—I mean, no curl or anything. Just straight, and we have plenty of room to work with back there behind the green. And from here, it's just going to be a simple uh, chip. And uh, we'll get to my chip in just a moment here. But we're going to watch Paul here, see what he does. He's got that roulette ball. And he's going to do very much the same thing that I did. I would suggest the big dog on this hole um, if you're going to go to the left. Um, and I would suggest the guardian or even a viper or a big dog uh, for your other shot. Because you do want a shot of a, a club with some backspin on it for the second shot if you go to the right side. But for the left side, you need a, a club that has some distance on it. Because um, you definitely need to get that ball around that bunker. Um, maybe not quite that far. <coughs> and you're going to see what I have here. It's a fairly easy chip. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, this chip will move some. Just because it is going to a, a downhill hole location. Um, slightly, but your ball will be in the air, especially with the firefly. And as you see, um, my ball does move. Um, I did not completely adjust it correctly, and my ball does move while in the air. So make sure to adjust just a little bit extra for that shot um, if you do go that way, okay? Unless you have a, a club with a little bit more of a low trajectory to it. Um, in that case, you should be okay. But if you're using like the Firefly or something, make sure you do adjust it correctly um, and add just a little bit extra adjustment for it. And my opponent, you see, is going to miss it here. And uh, we will tie and move on to the shootout. But that is hole number nine going to the left side, and that is your drive and your, shot, your setup for your second shot. So see you all in the next.